Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Comal ISD has always prided itself on its high volleyball standards and its success, especially with teams like Bolverde Smithson Valley and New Braunfels Canyon that have won state championships in the past. There's two new schools that are up and coming in San Antonio Davenport and San Antonio Piper. Those two schools, though, are combined seven years old. Davenport, a district champion in Class 4A last year, making it to the third round. Piper, though, did not make the playoffs last year as they finished out of the playoffs in the district that features Canyon and Smithson Valley along with Kerrville Tyvee and Bernie Champion, among others. This rivalry, though, will grow very quickly as these teams continue to get better. You could call them the new kids on the block. The programs might be new, but some of the names are not. Davenport head coach Taylor Toso played on some great O'Connor teams under Yami Garcia, while Piper head coach Courtney Patton, veteran coach of Alamo Heights and Smithson Valley, before starting the Piper program. Talon Dodson and her sister Ashton, two of the best in the area, while Caroline Peterson of Piper already has a state championship. Not in volleyball, but the high jump two years ago as a freshman. Her shoes will forever be immortalized. Let's see how this match itself would be immortalized. All three sets featured Davenport making an early run and not allowing Piper to make a rally as the Wolves won 22-21-19 to move to 3-0 all-time versus the Warriors, but it's the first time that Davenport has swept Piper. For both teams, it was about continuing to develop young programs. We did a much better job of not doing our roller coaster where we go down, let them get some points. I think we had, we did have some points where we let them go but we're gonna work on just keeping our run the entire time no roller coaster moments where we go down we're just gonna push through the whole thing it's been really challenging kind of fun just because i think we all have friends from each school and knowing that we're both two new schools competing to be at the top has been really great for us we just kind of don't really think about being a new school and especially coach toso she kind of pushes us to be our very best and like i said before our team is very connected and just, we don't really think about being a new school, we just kind of compete to our hardest level. We have to continue throughout our full, like our whole season. It's not something we're not going to play hard in the beginning and let it go throughout the middle or the end. We're going to push all the way through and keep our intensity. These are going to be teams that we're going to see in our district, so we just need to learn how to get over that like hump of starting off stronger, finishing stronger. I think it's like a good setup of what we will see in our season. Our team this year has grown a lot together. We're a lot stronger, more comfortable with each other. We have great bonds. The attitudes are great on and off the court, and I think that's really helping us this year. Davenport will be favored again to win their 4A district, while Piper will look to knock off at least one of the powers in their 5A district to reach the tournament for the first time. Reporting from Kinder Ranch, I am forever immortalized as Mr. Bowtie.